Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. There are a lot of applications out there that will do screen recordings on the Mac, but there are not many apps that allow you to edit and combine screen recordings into a full screencast, something like what you're watching here. At Screencast Online, we use the awesome application ScreenFlow from Telestream, but it's $130. There's also the very capable Camtasia from TechSmith for $100. Today, I'm going to teach you about a surprisingly advanced screencasting application called Screenium from Cinium Software at CiniumSoftware.com. Screenium's normal price was $54.99 for a long time. They've lowered the price to $26.99, and they say that it's going to be that low for the foreseeable future. Don't let that low price fool you, though. This is an incredibly advanced piece of software. Cinium is localized in 13 languages and runs on Yosemite or later, but they recommend using macOS Big Sur. Screenium is also optimized for M1 Macs. Screenium is so capable that we'll be breaking it up into a basics tutorial and an advanced tutorial to be delivered at a later date. Before we get started, I want to explain one thing. In more recent versions of macOS, applications must ask for permission in system preferences to do things like record your screen, access your cameras and microphones, and access accessibility controls. Screenium will ask for all of these permissions as you go through using the different tools, but for brevity's sake, I'm not going to demonstrate that in this tutorial. When you launch Screenium, you'll see the Start window. Up here is the Start Your Recording section, and you'll notice that we have options for Area, Full Screen, Single Window, and you can even capture iOS and tvOS devices with Screenium. As we go across each option, you'll see there's a nice little animation that shows you clearly which one you've chosen. The next section down is called Recording Configuration. And this section is where you'll choose attributes of your video recordings, how the desktop is displayed, which audio and camera sources are captured, and more. We're going to look at the video and audio first, get them set up, and make our first recording. Then we can come back and see how the other controls affect your recordings. Let's take a look at video first. By default, the frame rate is set to 60 frames per second. I'm going to bring that down to 30 frames per second because I'm going to be doing a screencast, which is fairly static imagery, so you don't need a high frame rate in order to adequately capture what you're trying to show. Now, if you're trying to capture live video with a lot of movement, you might want to set the frame rate much higher. You don't want to try to capture at a higher frame rate than necessary because that just makes a file that's bigger than necessary. The next section is quality, and I recommend keeping the quality as high as you can afford in terms of disk space. Lowering the quality actually increases the processor load because the application has to compress while recording. We'll leave that at highest quality. On scaling, you can scale as you're creating the video, but at Screencast Online, what we recommend doing is lowering the resolution of the screen before you start recording so you get the highest possible quality recording rather than scaling the video while you're doing the recording. So again, I'll leave that at 100%. The next section is on stealth. And the idea of stealth recording is to not allow your viewers to see on screen the fact that the screen is being recorded. That sounds kind of meta, but it removes Screenium's icon from the dock if it's not been kept in the dock, so you can't see that it's being recorded. I'll leave the stealth recording box unchecked. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member. 